Generative AI is becoming a key technology for businesses of all kinds, and those businesses that make the best use of it will have a significant competitive advantage. Welcome to Elastic Snackable Shorts. My name is Steve Kearns, Vice President of Product Management at Elastic. And Elastic has long been a leader in search and relevance. And as we'll see in this discussion, that experience is critical for organizations to get the most out of generative AI. Retrieval augmented generation is a common approach for making the most of generative AI technologies. Generative AI models are incredibly powerful, but they don't have the knowledge of your private or proprietary data. And the models are only as up to date as the last time they were trained. To manage this, the retrieval augmented generation approach allows you to use your internal private data as context to ensure the generative model has the specific information needed to answer the user's question. The RAG pattern has three main pieces. First, the user who authors the question. Second is a vector database containing all of the documents and data from your business. And third is the generative AI system like ChatGPT. And at a high level, the flow is simple. The user writes their question. Then that question is used as a query against your vector database to retrieve the most relevant documents from your business data that contain the answer to their question. And then those documents with the user question are passed to the generative AI model, giving it the context from your business that is needed to make it work and get the right answer. Now, that flow is relatively straightforward, but it glosses over an important aspect. How does that vector database portion work? Uh, and, and it's an important one. To use a vector database in this flow, you need to start by collecting your business documents from all of the different sources. And after collecting them, you need to transform those documents into vectors. This is where a large language model transforms the text of the document into a numeric representation, a vector, or also called an embedding, uh, that captures the meaning of your documents. And this transformation of text to numeric representation is commonly called generating embeddings. So those embeddings, the vectors that represent those documents, they're indexed into your vector database. And now you're ready to search it. But at search time, you need to do that same kind of translation. Take the query and generate embeddings. These vectors will represent the meaning of the query. And you pass that in as your search, and you're finding matches in the vector database itself. The quality of your vector search is heavily influenced by the model you use to generate those embeddings. And there's a lot more to know about vector search, like how some vector databases, like Elasticsearch, are able to generate the embeddings natively inside the search engine itself, while others require you to use separate libraries. But zooming back out, the retrieval augmented generation pattern is a powerful way to ensure your generative AI experiences are effective for your business. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more details.